we're going to do a test for up lighting. So we're gonna turn off. We've got some fluorescent lighting going right now. But what's cool here, if you look carefully, is you can see they're going with an exposed beam kind of situation, which is awesome. Um, when we do up lights, I typically do 20, and I think in this room it's gonna be spectacular. But we'll turn one on and they all talk to each other and it will light up the entire ceiling. This place in the dark, because this is a very dark venue, is actually gonna look really, really awesome. Today we are at the brand new, not even brand new, we can't even call it brand new. It hasn't been finished yet. I'm super pumped about this. This is the Austrium. This is a new venue that's coming here to Fort Worth. Super pumped about this place. Lindsay, who also owns Brick Venue, one of my favorite venues, is setting this place up. Today we're going to check audio, we're going to check lighting, and we're just, it's like a blank canvas. It's not even done yet. Super pumped about today. So we've been testing the audio in here, which sounds really good. This is the view from the middle where they're gonna put most of the entertainment that comes in here. And what we've got here is the middle of the dance floor. So that's gonna fill in this sort of dance floor area really well. I'm realizing how rough I look today. It's a late start this morning, it's my day off. Um, but what we've got here is in the corner, we can run um, either wireless or you could even wire it if you want. But what that'll do is when you're here, the dance floor is full with the mains, but we drop off a little bit here in the corners and you can actually put these little guys in here and that'll fill in the corners with the sound. By doing that, you can put these up a little bit. You don't have to crank the dance floor middle ones quite as much. And what that allows you to do is kind of even out the sound a little bit, which virtually eliminates the echo in this room. So these are concrete floors, uh, cinder block walls, um, high ceilings, a couple of things that we sometimes see, but what this allows us to do is fill the sound evenly, and when you don't have to press the gas pedal, so to speak, as hard, you don't have to, um, you don't get the echo on the far wall. So, very good setup. It's actually acoustically easier than I was expecting. This is a great little room. We're loving this. All right, that was an awesome visit. Um, I'm super pumped about this place. They start doing weddings at the end of June. Um, my challenge is that I'm pretty much sold out for 2019. Uh, so I'm gonna run into a situation where I'm probably gonna miss the first wave of weddings on this particular venue. That happens a lot of times with new venues is, you know, they're brand new and open, so they're gonna get, they're gonna book some of their vendors later in the process than the typical booking process, which means that a lot of people, they probably will send some good referrals my way, but I'll probably be booked up. So it's gonna be first quarter of 2020 and beyond where I probably will start doing regular work in this venue. I'm excited about it though. The um, the acoustics in there, when you look at it, it, looks like they might be challenging, but the reality is it's actually not. It's uh, the concrete floor has absorbed the base and the cinder blocks, just as long as you're careful and you spread out the sound like I was talking about, you won't overwhelm that room and you'll have clarity throughout the entire room so that, you know, when you make an announcement, it's clean and it's clear and it just, sounds good through the whole venue and everybody can hear the announcements being made. Uh, but I'm excited. I, I have always loved working at Brick. Lindsay and Christy and Kristen there have been just wonderful allies in the industry. Uh, I love working with them. I'm grateful for all they have been doing for me, for helping me out. We have a good, good synergistic relationship. And I'm super pumped about the future because Austrium is going to be a great venue. It's going to be, you can tell there's going to be some good parties in those walls and we're going to have a fantastic time there. So that's it for today. Um, catch up soon. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video, comment. Um, I just want to, you know, we're back in action now. So let's, uh, let's keep this momentum going. The other 26 episodes I did in the first season were fantastic. Uh, I want to do consistently just keep this thing running. So let's do it. Let's have fun with it. And if there's something you want to see, let me know. I'm, I'm all about it. I want to share. I'm having so much fun with all this stuff. I just want to share this little snippet in this part of my life with you guys and have a great time. So have a good day. We'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you.